Hey guys, it's Tom Box here. Welcome to MSD.TV. You see the packs here, you know it's from Konami. They sent these in for a review video, so I'm going to be doing it. But you know, the pack's kind of already out. What's the point? Well, I still have to do it. But on the other hand, to make it a bit more interesting, I'm just going to answer the FAQ questions you guys have for Infinity Chaser. But on top of that, I'll also answer the FAQ you guys had for me that I asked you guys to throw at me on Discord and on Facebook. So I'll be answering 10 questions total, 5 about Infinity Chaser and 5 about myself and the happenings of the year. So hopefully there's a bit of value here. Because uh, if I get bottom of the barrel rarities for this stuff again, man, it is super discouraging. And if I do pull something good, well, thank you guys for blessing the packs. You know what? Smash that like button to bless these packs for me. That's all I can hope for. That's all I can really hope for. And double bless if you guys hit the subscribe button. Oh yeah, that's right. A little bit of plug there. So anyways, I got my phone set up right here with a question. So I'll be answering two questions per pack. And let's do this. So, question number one, should I buy Infinity Chasers? Well, that's a good question. While hitting me with a straight up, uh, I guess I should say. Uh, if you like Witchcraft, if you guys like Infinitrax, or if you guys like Stink Eye, I, I mean, not Stink Eye, Evil Eye, go ahead. But if you're just looking for reprints, I suggest you guys to go for singles instead. That's just my opinion right there. So we got Crab Crane, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. That's nice, that's a nice reprint. Tunneler. Magician's right hand, and we got Infinitrack Fortress Megalocop. Meg Megaclops. Okay, you know what? I'm just sorting this out here. So, you got this, and you got these. All right. And as for my personal question, uh, are you really a judge? Well, yes, I am. I am officially on the judge list. I have RC2, PC1, and DC1. There is unfortunately a problem with my status online. They have failed to update my status for some time now. I've actually had this long email chain going between Konami trying to find it. I actually completed my RC1 at um, in Texas. I did my exam there, got 100% on it. And uh, I've been emailing between Julia and Chris and uh, still no update on that. It's probably because I have a Kasi ID issue at the time and I still probably do have one. And uh, that, that answers, am I really a judge? Yes, I am. And that's why I'm very thorough with my rulings. And I got 100% on that exam too. So I was really happy about it. It's a written exam. Oh, anyways, number two, we have, what are the best reprints in this set? I actually have this written out. Anyways, we have Infinitrack Goliath, uh, Witchcrafter Draping, Hidden Armory, Witchcrafter pottery and evil eye retribution okay that's kind of cool cool stuff i don't know what's good what's not oh i kind of do there's only three cards i really care about in here okay and uh best reprints of the set i believe it is going to be mythical bees jackal king that just came just in time because they were like 20 dollars a piece uh there's dig for zach if you guys didn't like the gold rare version and you don't have the prize card version here's the, like a super rare version uh draco sack because i am trying to rebuild my um what is it? What's that deck that uses Draco? Like Dragon Rulers. Uh, Jurigato has been a well-timed reprint, Spellbook of Knowledge, and of course, we have our Spellcaster's uh, Village. I guess that one's already existed for multiple reprints already. As for the personal questions, why don't I post videos every day? Uh, as for why I don't post question, uh, videos every day, it's just because I work full-time. Uh, if you guys open your Solitaire, uh, on your computer, if you have Windows 10 or whatever, go there, check the credits, uh, you'll find my name somewhere there. Yeah, that's right. I'm on your computer. I'm spying on you. I'm just kidding. I'm not really spying on you. Not specifically you. So anyways, let's go to question number three and pack number three. Let's hope that I get something good. Uh, question number three. What are the money cards of the set? Well, there's only three cards I am trying to pull and the money cards I am trying to pull. First one would be Witchcrafter Creation. Uh, then there is uh, Serzeal, wa the Watcher of the Evil Eye, and uh, Madame Burr from the Witchcrafter. So here we have Infinitrack Tunneler, Infin another Goliath. This must be the reprint, Hidden Armory. Seems like they are in sequence. Dragato! Oh, I, I do want this. I don't have a single copy of this. And uh, Evil Eye Awakening. Stink Eye Awakening. Um, number three question for personally for myself. Can you design me a character or logo? <laughs> oh, you must be a tuber or something. Uh, the answer is probably no. If you guys don't know, I worked on the branding for Team APS. I'm currently finishing a branding job for um, Team Samurai X1. I've done some stuff for Simo. I've done one little thing for Farfa. I've done something for Twiz before. I just, ever since Cody, which was uh, Yugi Mation kind of left, I kind of funneled in most of the people 
and uh, they kind of find me to do stuff. But I've kind of turned down most jobs since last year. I've only been working with the people that can actually pay me uh, for my time because I also charge opportunity cost on top just because why would I want to work on your branding when I could be working on my branding? So, and I would never work for less than my own worth. Like if someone actually asked you to like do work, here's like a tip for you guys to do freelance. Make sure you put it on contract, put it on paper and uh, charge a deposit so that if they cancel, they can't get that deposit back because uh, your time is going to be wasted if they're just trying to get free stuff off of you and don't send your stuff before they pay. Never send stuff before they pay. Like make sure there's some sort of at least get a deposit out of it in case like they want partial work, whatever it is. But yes, am I gonna do any designs? I don't think most of you can afford a fresh professional rate if you're just starting off. But if you are a professional, please go ahead and contact me. I love doing branding work. I did branding work for uh, Blackberry back in the day. And right now I'm working on a very high profile game, which is solitaire. Anyways, if, as of recording this video anyways. All right, I think I'm on pack number four. I still haven't gotten anything good so far. And uh, number four, is this set competitive? Uh, I have to say, oh yes! I did want the Draco sack. That's the reprint I wanted most out of this because I had everything except for Draco sack. And I'm really happy that Draco sack's here. Uh, is this set competitive? At the moment, I would say it has potential, but definitely not within that range just yet. Not within the top tier range. I and mean, we need to see a balance or perhaps we need to see more stuff being released in future sets. And uh, let's see, oh, Magic Cylinder, yeah man, I just love winning with this card. Uh, let me see if I can read this. Ka uh, Katabopus, uh, the familiar of the evil eye, and Magician's left hand. This is like Thanos hand, like just, just getting ready to, to do the snap. And okay, my god, let's see this, let's see this. Oh, it's a spell, it's a spell, it's a spell. Evil eye repose, oh my god, like I said, I will never get anything of value, so three, four out of Zero out of four, anything good. As for my personal question, uh, do you, oh, how do you counter Pancratops when doing the Azathoth comp? You guys always ask me ruling stuff. This one's probably for you, TK. I know, TK, you asked me this before. Um, if you're gonna set up the Azathoth combo, you want to be able to protect it. Uh, well, might as well use, uh, prepare it with a call by the grave so that if you use Pancratops, uh, you just activate the card, bait the Pancratops, call with the great Pancratops, and you've you've basically taken care of it. Now you have an Azathoth and they can't activate anything. And Pancratops is dead too. Like, <laughs> either way, win-win for you at that point. And uh, you can bait it out if you have Call by the Grave. Other things that you can prepare it with would be any sort of chainable card that would remove Pancratops, forcing him in early activation, and therefore you would win in terms of chain links. So that's another possibility. Or you can set a counter trap like Strike, Warning, so you can just kill the Pancratops, and in response for Pancratops dying, you can actually activate your card. So there's a lot of possibilities that you can try. And my phone got turned off, and uh, that's it. I don't know why you guys want to ask me for these things. I guess chain link stuff do matter. All right, we're down to our last pack. Last pack right here. Come on, guys, bless me. Put the like in there. Put the like in there. All right, I feel it. This this one has to be one of the top three. If not, another Draco sack would make me exceptionally happy. But let's do this, let's do this. Okay, we're opening this. So, uh, question number five. What's my favorite card in the set? And I like the I like the smug lady, the smug lady, Madame Ver. Madame Ver, oh, you guys blessed it. We got another Draco sack. I really wanted the Draco sack and I got another one. Thank you guys, awesome work. The like worked. Another magic cylinder. This is kind of similar. Another uh, Catalopus? Was it the exact same pack? This seems like an identical pack here. All right, left, again, left hand. You guys can rewind the video, see if this pack is exactly the same. If this card is another Evil Eye Repose, I'm gonna be like kind of upset. All right, it's a spell. Oh, it's the field spell. Oh, it's the field spell. It's slightly better than the other one. For, so for my foils, I have Evil Eye Domain uh, per, uh, Paradolia. Uh, evil Eye Awakening, Evil Eye Repose, Evil Eye Retribution. This is really Evil Eye-esque, and we have an Infinite Track uh, Fortress Mega Mega Clops. And as for this side, this seems like they have a bit of a pre-packed order here. Left hand. Yeah, this is this part is identical. And Juragato, that's nice. Infinite Track Goliath. So this is the card that everyone seems to want to get banned. That's what I'm guessing. Anyways, and uh, favorite card says Smug Girl. Okay, personal question: When is MOS Seven? MOS7, 
actually might not be happening this year. So I'm trying to focus on two things right now, and they're very important. One's related to a tournament. I've been trying to bring back regionals. Uh, our application was recently rejected because apparently if you're trying to apply for regionals, between the time uh, of, I guess for Dark Neo Storm, it's a lot harder because the season's a lot shorter. And because it's a shorter season, uh, and it's so close to um, WCQ, they just don't have enough regionals to distribute. So they told us to try again. I'm hoping that we'll get it next time. So that's what I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get regionals back rather than doing an MOS. I'll do an MOS even if there is regionals here, but that's one thing I'm trying to do. And the second thing is I'm trying to plan my wedding. So my wedding goes, well, it takes place way ahead of everything else in the schedule. At least I'm trying to do that. And uh, man, let's just say you got to save a lot of money if you want to plan a wedding. It's making me very stressed out. I started to see gray hair up here all over my head. I am getting old. You guys can't really guess my age. I am. I am old. I'm very old. Like, like very old. But you guys will never know my age. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it for this set. If you guys want to check it out, do you guys want to get this stuff? Oh, it's completely up to you guys. But the best card I did not get which would be witchcraft create a uh, witchcrafter creation. I think that's, that card's really amazing. I mean, it's like a, it's a rota that adds itself back to the head. I don't know what, what can go wrong about that. Madame Verzo is so smug. It's a really pretty card as well. I think the, that would make a really beautiful mat in my opinion, but that's about it. And as for the other guy, uh, Sergio, it's the only card that makes the deck playable. Without that card, you, you really wouldn't have much of a deck of evil eye. And um, well, that's all I got to say about this guy. So if you guys enjoyed this segment, hit me with a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more stuff from MST.TV, this is a bit of a bonus video because whenever they send stuff in, I don't know when it's arriving. And I was going to sleeve these cards, but at this point, I don't think I need to. It's going into the bulk bin. And uh, well, hit that thumbs up, uh, smash subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please drop us a like so we know we are doing a good job. And you can also subscribe to MSD.TV for more fantastic videos by clicking on the button on the left. Don't forget to check out our partners at Imperium Duelist. They make really high quality mats, including some of my own limited edition release stuff. And if you want to check out one of our past videos, click here on the right. As always, don't forget to hold on to your MSD.TV and I'll see you next time.